At this point, we'll uh, call the April 25th, 2022 uh, meeting of the Town of Arlington Redevelopment Board to order. This open meeting of the Redevelopment Board is being conducted remotely for the governor's extension of the remote meeting provisions of Governor Baker's executive order of March 12th, 2022, excuse me, 2020. For this meeting, the ARB is convening via Zoom as posted on the town's website, identifying how the public may join. Please know that the meeting is being recorded and that some attendees are participating via video conference. Accordingly, please be aware that other people may be able to see you and take care not to screen share your computer. Anything that you broadcast may be captured by the recording. So at this point, we'll move to a roll call. Make sure everyone is here and can hear me. Starting with Ken. Yes, present. Jean. Present. Melissa. Present. And Steve. Good evening, Madam Chair. Good evening. I am Rachel Zenberry. We also have with us uh, Jenny Raitt from the Department of Planning and Community Development. Present. And uh, Kelly Linema from the Department of Planning and Community Development. Present. All right. Um, so at this point, before we get into agenda item number one, um, I'd like to turn it over to Jenny, who has an update for us on the um, status of the approval of the housing production plan. Um, and I'd also love to just do a quick run through after that. Well, first we'll do that and we'll see if any questions and then we'll do another housekeeping item. Um, thank you, Rachel. Yeah, the update is that last Wednesday evening, the select board adopted the housing production plan with some minor um, administrative amendments that Kelly and I are um, still taking care of that relate to some language that was used to describe the Arlington Housing Authority. Um, and those amendments are you know, minor in nature, but important, and they were important to the select board. So we will we're gonna make those amendments. I'll share the final version of that, which is the version that we are going to send to the Department of Housing and Community Development for approval. That's the next step in the process. And then, you know, depending upon the outcome, which is likely to be positive, uh, we will then have an approved and adopted, fully adopted and approved housing production plan for the next five years. So um, I just, again, wanna thank the board for your time and attention reviewing it. And of course your adoption of it. And, um, you know, thank, Thankful also that the select board took the time to um, review it and then provide those comments uh, last week and that we're able to move forward. Um, the other thing I wanna note is that there was interest expressed um, with having a joint board meeting uh, some point in the future, probably after town meeting, which is something that we would follow up on from, you know, we, we did this in prior years where the two boards met together to talk about housing policy and sort of priorities moving forward. So, um, so that'll be something that you'll come back to following town meeting. So June. <laughs> um, and uh, so with that, that was the update and I'll turn it back to you, Rachel, with uh, meeting updates. Great, thank you. Um, and the other thing I wanted to do this evening, just because we have quite a few meetings coming up in the next two weeks is just to um, run through the, the meeting dates for the next two weeks and the times. And Jenny and Kelly, I will ask you to keep me honest on this because I know that they've bounced a little bit. So we have a meeting on Wednesday, I believe that starts at 6.30 on the 27th. And then could you confirm, we also have a meeting on Monday the 2nd. Could you confirm the time that that one starts? That is at 6.30 as well. It's at 6.30. And then we have another meeting on Wednesday uh, the 4th, which is to um, review the, the, the draft report and approve the draft report for special town meeting. And yes. Is that at seven? And, and that could be at 7. It, I mean, I would, I would say 7 would be preferable. And then, you know, you end a little early yeah. and get a little break um, before town meeting convenes. Okay, does anyone have any questions about the upcoming meeting times and dates? Can you just confirm that was Wednesday, May 4th at 7? Correct. Okay, thank you. All right, uh, so with those two housekeeping items, we'll go ahead and move into agenda item number one, which is um, to deliberate and vote on the 2022 special town meeting zoning warrant articles. We previously uh, closed the public hearing portion um, of this, of this uh, special town meeting review. Um, and we will go ahead and start with deliberation on article two, which is related to 
family child care. And um, Jenny, I'll turn it over to you first to see if there are any specific changes that you wanted to top line before we have our discussion. Yes, thank you. Um, I only received comments from Jean on this particular article, actually on all of the articles. So if you see <laughs> red lines, uh, the track changes, those are the track changes based upon feedback that was provided by Jean in advance of this meeting. Um, some of them are typographical and those are things that we might uh, transfer to the draft to the report to town meeting, but I'm just going to walk through the ones that are embedded in the bylaw amendment uh, language themselves. Okay, so with this one, Jean's suggestion is to amend the definition by adding the licensing and then deleting this last sentence and incorporating that last sentence which he felt was not appropriate for the definition, but was more of a, a compliance uh, matter. And so therefore better as a footnote. And so the footnote was amended in each uh, relative section, the same. Jenny, those were the amendments. Jenny, right? the footnote on the first page says is two, it should also be one. Do you see that over there? Oh yeah, I'll just have to, I don't know why that's. Yeah. I'm not sure why that's doing that, but yeah, we'll make sure that that's the correct number. Oh, I see what it is. It's picking up this. Oh, I, I. Uh, You'll figure I think, it out after. I know what it is. I actually, I am, I amended the footnote in the document, but not, not in the. Um, sorry, this is, this is a Monday brain problem here. Um, this is not deleted. There we go. This footnote is to the, my apologies, um, everybody, but that, that footnote belonged with the background. Okay. Oh, and I then this, this, so that was like a footnote in the document. This is the table and this is its footnote um, here. Okay. So, and then the same thing follows for each table. Okay. Great. Thank you. And that's it. All right. Thank you, Jenny. Um, so to start discussion, um, perhaps Jean, we can start with you to see if there's anything in addition to the notes that you provided that you wanted to um, mention about this article. No, I, I, I mean, it's what we talked about and what we agreed made sense. And I just tried to, as you can see, move some of the wording around so the definition is clearer and the, and the requirements are clearer. That was it. Thank you, Jean. Uh, Ken, any discussion on this article? No, I, I have none. Great. Uh, Steve? Uh, nothing for me, Madam Chair. Melissa? Um, nothing with regard to the language that was changed. Okay, great. Um, so at this point, if there are no um, further items of discussion on article two. I'll see if there is a motion to recommend uh, favorable action to article two as amended. So motion. I'll second. All right, we'll take a vote. Ken? Yes. Jean? Yes. Melissa? Yes. Steve? Yes. And I'm a yes as well. So uh, the motion carries for favorable action with a vote of five to zero for article two. Okay. We'll now move to article three, which is a zoning bylaw amendment related to signs uh, for shared mobility stations. And I'll turn it over to Jenny to top line uh, the changes that were made in the document. Um, these are very straightforward, but I might need Gene to explain the first one. I'll do my best with what I believe he's trying to do here. Um, we typically have definitions in groups um, when we're introducing something new. So I think Gene's proposal is to add a, a mobility station as sort of the, 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 the heading to it. I've put in a definition, but I don't know if it's necessary. I'll let, I'll let you think about that. Um, and then the shared mobility docking station and the electric vehicle charging station would be sort of underneath that. That would be the hierarchy. Um, and then I struck hourly because actually 
I mean, you could rent it on an hourly basis, but you could all, there's a, many ways that it's rented. So I just took that out completely, um, which was another one of Jean's uh, suggestions. I think perhaps the only other thing that changed since the last time you saw this is we added micro -mo mobility options. Is that right, Kelly? Yeah. So we added micro, this, um, this right here was also added but it's not highlighted. So I just want to make sure I point that out. Um, Gene, is there more to the definition piece that you wanted to share? Uh, the, the only thing I would I shared and the reason I suggested mobility station is that if you look down later in the proposed bylaw, it used the term mobility station, but we didn't have that defined. So I thought it made more sense um, to put it up here. And then I don't know if you need another state, another sentence or not, Jenny that says, you know, they include, and then those two. It's sort of up to you, but I think it would make it clearer if they say that. If you keep this here? Yeah, yeah oh, okay. like a mobility station includes and then have both of those there. Okay. But that was the basic reason because we had the parts we needed, but not something that said mobility station. That was it. And otherwise, if I could say it, it's what we talked about. Yeah, right. it is. Yeah, and we um, the numbering was off in the document. It, it's just meant to be one through, et cetera. Um, and then the other comment was instead of specifically saying including here. Um, and then I think the only other one was a comment about uh, well, this was highlighted, but it was really tied to the first point that Jean has already explained. So I've added an S, but I think actually it doesn't need an, it doesn't need to be pluralized. Um, so now I understand. But um, and I believe that was it. Yeah, on this one, the edits that were provided by Jean, but um, others may have other comments as well. Great, thank you, Jenny. I appreciate it. Uh, Jean, did you have any other comments in addition to the edits? No, nope, that was it. Okay. Well, good. Great. I like, as Steve said, I think uh, mm -hmm. nice job with the graphics. Great, thank you. Uh, we'll go to Ken next. Any any comments or discussion? Yeah, I thought we had discussed um, if the sign had uh, had nothing to do with um, you know electric uh, electric charging or uh, bike rentals or anything like that then it, it will be termed um, advertisement. And um, that, that when it's that way, if it's interpreted that way there, it should be reviewed. And I think we should just uh, review it uh, maybe with Jenny's department saying that, you know, I, uh, I think we talked about maybe some inappropriate signage that we don't want. Uh, I think Melissa picked up on that, uh, like um, smoking or I don't know, what, you know, some of the un, uh, less desirable types of signage or advertisement we don't want there in these billboards all over town, wherever these bicycle stations are and charging stations are. I mean, if it has to do with the charging station, fine. It, it makes sense. It's all, it's, it's fine. But if they're using it for advertisement, we, uh, we want to have at least a review of, of what goes there. That's, the, that's what we talked about. So I'll just add that um, what we talked about was the fact that we don't have jurisdiction over the content. The select board has jurisdiction over the over the content, and so um, we here can identify what um, what the the size, the the shape, the the location, all of the the. Um, the, the graphic standards can be, but um, the select board will need to be the body that reviews. And, and I would assume that um, the select board would, would be very specific about the type of advertising that they would allow in terms of what contracts the town would enter into um, for, th this is really, Jenny, correct me if I'm wrong, for sponsored signage as part of a funding vehicle for the, the the town um, to be able to provide this this um, these shared mobility stations, and so the um, the town would still have oversight as to the selection of who that is. Jenny, if you want to jump in just and clarify that. Those are that's that everything you just said is accurate. Okay. Okay. 
I'll withdraw my objection and I'm fine with this. Okay, thank you, Kim. Uh, Melissa, any comments or discussion? Um, no comment. So I think that this kind of maybe isn't a good example, just like one thing to alert the selectmen to, and if we're moving forward with the joint meeting, um, you know, just kind of making explicit the fact that, you know, this is not in our jurisdiction moving forward. We acknowledge that and we want them to be fully aware that they're, you know, kind of responsible for content moving forward. Yep, we can absolutely do that. That's a good suggestion to follow up with with them and make sure that they're aware prior to um, town meeting as well. I can certainly follow up with um, Len, who's the, the new chair of the select board and make sure that they're aware. Uh, Steve, any comments? Uh, no, I like the revisions. Great. I'm just making a note to follow up with Len. All right, um, and I, also, I'm in su support of the revisions. I appreciate the work that was done and the, the graphics that Kelly put together as well. So thank you. Um, so at this point, I'd like to see if there is a motion to um, recommend favorable action for Article 3 as amended. So motioned. Is there a second? Second. All right, we'll take a vote, starting with Ken. Yes. Jean? Yes. Paul? Yes. Dean? Yes. Can, can, I, can I say something? Yes. I, I think that we need to add to the diagram. I forgot this. What's in all the other sign thing diagrams, which says um, this diagram is included for illustrative purposes only. It is not part of the Arlington zoning bylaw. We have that in all the other um, illustrations. Yeah, of so course. I'd like to amend the motion to have that added at the diagram. Sorry, I forgot about that. Nope, that's fine. That makes sense. Uh, so we will. So you'd like to motion the addition additional amendment, correct, Jean? Right, and, okay. and it would be so, at the at the at the graphic. Okay, great. Um, I think what I'd like to do is just go ahead and retake the vote. Um, so if I could have a second to Jean's motion. Second. Thank you. Uh, we'll retake the vote starting with Kim. Yes. Jean. Yes. Melissa. Yes. Steve. Yes. And I'm a yes as well. So uh, we will recommend favorable action for signs for shared mobility stations. All right. Uh, so we'll now move to Article 4, which is a zoning bylaw amendment related to non-conforming single-family or two-family dwellings. And Jenny, I will turn it over to you for any clarifications for this article. Um, I, actually, there was, I, other than in the sort of discussion, there, were, there was nothing, no, no comments on this, on what was provided in the actual bylaw amendment which is to strike um, that particular subsection C. Right. Nothing further. The other comments were to the discussion. There were some questions that Jean had, but they would have been appropriate for town council. And uh, in the time I had today, I, did, I was not able to connect with him. Okay. I don't know if you did though, Jean. I, <laughs> I'll turn it over to Jean first. Yeah, go ahead. I did not have a chance either, but I had a communication with Christian Klein, uh, the chair of the Zoning Board of Appeals. And it, I mean, based on that, I feel like C doesn't belong because it really is just confusing and makes it more difficult for the ZBA to do its job. I mean, that's my takeaway from the communication from um, Christian Klein. And that, that follows the discussion that I had with Christian Klein and Patrick Hanlon, who's the, um, also on the Zoning Board of Appeals with Doug Heim and Mike Champa, the Director of Inspectional Services, that this section, this is uh, basically leading to some confusion. Yeah, so I'm, I'm still, and you know, I, I, um, 
I wrote a note to Jenny, which is, you know, I'm still, I must have a mental block on this. I can't figure out why it's prohibited by the Bellotta decision, even after having read it, but I'm still willing to go along with getting rid of it because I think it's just unnecessary surplusage that just makes it more difficult for the ZBA. Great, thank you, Jean. Ken? I have no questions. All right, Melissa? Uh, no questions. Steve? Uh, no questions here. Great, and I um, also am in uh, support of this, uh, given the support from uh, Christian Klein of the ZBA and um, the Director of Inspectional Services in Doug Heim. I, I can I wonder if, ahead, if in, in the report that goes to town meeting, I don't know if it would make sense to put something in about uh, the ZBA having asked that it be removed. We can, we can certainly do that. Yep. We've, yeah, that would be great. Thank you. Um, and just to follow on that thread, that's one thing that we did identify. I just recorded all of the, um, the, the video presentations today for all the other articles. And we did identify those articles that had been put forward by the ZBA and the Zoning Bylaw Working Group. So we can certainly mention that for this particular article as well. All right, uh, so there is there, I don't believe that there were any amendments, Jenny, for this one? Nothing, no, nothing proposed. Okay, so is there a motion uh, to recommend favorable action for Article 4? So motioned. All right, is there a second? I'll second. Great, thank you. We'll take a vote. Ken? Yes. Jean? Yes. Melissa? Yes. Steve? Yes. And I'm a yes as well. I thought Steve was going to second as a former ZBA. <laughs> didn't didn't get off mute fast enough. <laughs> yeah, well, as a, as as a former ZBA, I will just say that nonconformities are hard. <laughs> They're hard and they're complex. So yes, so it seems. Uh, let's see. So uh, Article Four, we will recommend uh, favorable action in a unanimous vote. So that brings us to the end of um, the uh, special town meeting articles. Um, I believe that we need to. I don't believe we need to close. We've already closed the public hearing. So Jenny, I don't believe that- We already closed, closed the hearing, hearing. the last. We're uh, good. Fabulous. First night right. and last night, yes. Very good, very good. Let's see, so um, that closes our uh, agenda item number one. So we'll now move to agenda item number two, which is uh, meeting minutes. Jenny, if you could bring those up. I just had a couple of small changes. I believe that I saw Steve uh, send a few revisions through today. Um, we received one from Don Seltzer, which Jenny, I believe you've incorporated already. Mm -hmm. And Jean, I'm not sure if you have yeah. provided your revisions already. Great. So I'll go to Kim. Great, thank you. Uh, Kim, did you have any revisions? Yes, I do. Um, let's see. I believe it's on the third page. Uh, it says, uh, Mr. Lau spoke in support of the project. Yeah, right here. Yeah, okay. Uh, but had some remarks about, uh, I like to change the word changing to extending the fence. Extending the fence around the parking. And then uh, increasing bicycle interior, increasing the interior bicycle parking and the signage um, percentage or signage uh, amount. Can I say the amount of signage? Yes. And then uh, uh, further down, It was Mr. Lau said that the sign on the fifth floor is probably okay, but uh, 200 square feet on the second on the second 
above the entrance is excessive. Uh, I like to add uh, also uh, the blade, uh, the pylon sign is excessive too. Sorry, where I uh, can you just tell me where that is? I'm just. Uh, uh, it's on the same page, I guess. Oh, maybe it's on here. Three, okay. Three paragraphs down, some of that. Um, I Above the that, entrance is excessive, um, and so then well, you want to add a sentence. Add the the uh, the pylon sign. The, uh, yes, the sign above the entrance, and the pylon sign is excessive. Oh, I see. I'm I'm going to do this. Oops. That's fine. Um, okay. And then in, uh, the next paragraph down uh, from there. Mm -hmm. um, I, uh, it says, uh, and stated, her, um, it's, I think it's his concern, not her. It's a little up higher. Up. Yep. Yeah. Yep. That paragraph right there, Jen. Oh, yeah. I see. Somebody thought Rachel was still talking, I think. Yep. Fine. Okay. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> um, and then um, about the scaling and clarity. Yep. That's fine. Is pylon with a Y and not an I? Yeah, it is. Yeah. <laughs> it is. And then I believe it's uh, two pages down. Okay. Uh, oh, go back up. Yeah. Uh, no, yep, right there. Um, uh, this is the last par uh, the last sentence on the third part, fourth paragraph up. Uh, I think I want to say the basis for uh, opposition uh, in uh, to the um, uh, programming is inappropriate. Not her, not her, uh, not not the opinion. It's that the, her basis for saying that it's not the best use she sees. But that's that's not that we're not here to discuss the most appropriate use. I believe the programming is allowed by uh, by right. So we can comment on other things, but not the uh, actual programming. Um, so Mr. Lau stated that he respected Ms. Tintakalis' opinion, but the basis for her opposition about programming? Yeah, the program, you know, the, the fact it's a storage chamber, uh, self-storage. And then uh, and if we wanted to make that change, we should change it in zoning, not with a review of the project. Um, Rachel, if I might, uh, yes. I mean, we're talking about the use though, Ken, aren't we? And it's a special permit. Yes, but think, use is allowed by right. And Ken, special Ken, permit. Ken did make that point during the meeting and this is a, um, you know, the, the minutes of the meeting. So I, I do remember him. Um, making the, the point that it is an allowed use and that that wasn't something that he believed that we um, should be debating. Not at this, not for this meeting. For the, for, for the during the public hearing. Yeah. Yes, I'm, I'm all gamed if we want to discuss it during a zoning uh, change or something like that, but not for this thing here. I, okay, that's all. I, I definitely, you know, I, I understand that what you're saying. clarification is helpful. Yeah. Yeah. I added a little clarification at the end as well, which I think is what you were trying to say, Ken. Yes. Um, yes. Future changes to the zoning bylaw are needed. Yep. Which I think you somewhat alluded to. Yep. Okay. Anything else? Or nope, that's it. I'm sorry. No, so meeting much. adjourned. Okay. Normally, normally sure. I keep quiet. Before you move, um, Jenny, the next paragraph down where it talks about the dimensions of the base spacing, it should have been the bay spacing, B-A-Y 
Oh yeah. <laughs> Great, thank you. And on that, on that paragraph, I think one of the important things, if I remember this correctly, that the applicant said that I thought should be in the, in the minutes is that because it used a 10 by 10 grid system, it would be difficult to convert the building to another use. And it probably would need to be demolished if it's no longer used for self-storage. So I thought it was important to have that in there. I, I didn't go, I, I saw you had a couple of comments like that, Jean. I didn't go back to look, to listen to the recording exactly. Um, I do remember this that. Is a, this is a transcription from- right. Um, right. But, but he, he did say that and I was really struck by it. And okay. um, I also thought it'd be good to have in the minutes because I wanted to, discuss it with the applicant when uh, they're next in front of the board. Do you have a sentence you want to, I'll type it in right now. Um, I make a suggestion because I, I think we can do it really easily. Um, he noted, which allows for gr greater flexibility, comma, um, but difficulty in repurposing the space um, to, a, to a different use in the, in the future. Okay, that's good enough. Thank you. You're welcome. There was another area like that, Jean, where you had a something that you were looking to be clarified, but I'll let I'll I'll put it back to Rachel. Great. I just have one um, one additional item. It's on page two, um, and it's about the third or fourth paragraph down. Um, it's where we're talking about. Um, so. Uh, it's where the sentence of the paragraph that starts absent any public questions. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh wait, I'm sorry, that's not it. Well, no, sorry. Anyway, it's two, it's two, it's two <laughs> more. Um, it's two more sen uh, sentences down where it says, as there were insufficient petitioners present. Um, it was actually because we weren't we were ahead of the um, the meeting time, so it was. Um, I, I don't think it was because the petitioners weren't there. Uh, the next sentence down. Uh, we had to move, we weren't able to move to the next article um, because we uh, were, were ahead of the posted public hearing time. So do you want me to add that here? It just, it just the, the reason why we had to to move wasn't because the petitioners weren't there. It was because we we were um, ahead of the scheduled public meeting time. That's perfect. All right, that's all that I had. Melissa, did you have any additions or corrections? Nope. All right. Uh, no. Great. Thank you, Melissa. I I had one. That, okay. Um, I think it's the next page that starts with the. There it is. Um, no, there's one that says absent um, further public comments. The chair questioned the applicant regarding interior rain. Leaders, can you find that? It's on the fourth page. Okay. Yeah. Right. So um, then it says Mr. Brian provided details on this. Yeah. And it, it would be really helpful to know what those details were. I'm pretty sure he said there would be no drainage to the brook, but I'm not, you know, that's just my recollection. I think it would be really good to know what he actually said there. Yeah, I, I again, I this was something you mentioned earlier today, but I didn't have a chance to go back and see exactly what was said or compare it to what we asked them to provide. Um, so I can flag it and go back to it, but I, I can't do anything about it at this okay. moment. I think yeah. that's fine. 
That's fine. Any other additions or corrections? Yes, if we could go back to pylon. So the, uh, and the pylon sign as well. Um, in context, I believe I'm the one speaking yes. as the minutes represent it. Uh, so I think the pylon sign as well, that should be attributed to Mr. Lau. Correct. So, um, so I- oh, but Mr. Lau said that. No, actually, no, not quite. No? Okay, yes. I thought this was what he said. Is that what you said? <laughs> uh, so wait a second, hold on. It's, it's too long of a sentence actually. Mr. He agrees with Mr. Lau and that the sign on the fifth floor is probably okay. Yeah, could you strike the additional text Mr. Lau said the sign on? Uh, and then let's move, let's see if we could maybe move and the pylon sign as well up to earlier where Mr. Lau was commenting on signs. It's two or three paragraphs up. Oh, okay. Um, like second sentence down from that paragraph is the amount of signage you might want to add and pylon sign or somewhere like there. Including the pylon sign. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You want to change this paragraph still further or uh no i think that's uh, no that's fine I, we can go back to the fourth page down a little more. It's again, the one with the 10 by 10 grid system. After it says discussion of layout and parking followed, I think it should say something like, uh, um, what did I put here? Um, the board said it expected to see at least 25 parking spaces in a revised proposal. I think that's what we actually said. No, uh, not all of us, Gene. No, some members of the board. All right, let's say some members of the board. There you go. Said they expect. Some member. Some members of the board. Or a member of the board. Said they expect. Okay, that's, that was my turn. Anything else? I do have one um, where uh, Mr. Bryan is highlighted. I went and checked my notes and um, I have a quote from Mr. To, I can offer a quote from Mr. Bryan. Please take okay, it away. So, so instead of Mr. Bryan, uh, where did, okay, it says, uh, Moving the rain. Um, actually, I have it down as Mr. Williams. Although, but at, um, that could be my mistake. Uh, Ms. Such, it says that's not their preference. Uh, he says that people who rent storage units expect their belongings to stay dry and exterior drains have much less chance of allowing water into the building. Much better chance. I'm sorry. Ex so uh, exterior. 
let, let me go back here. Brain leaders have a much better chance of have much less chance, much less allow, chance of allowing water into the building. Of allowing, okay. Is that is that what you were talking about, Gene? No. Okay, I didn't think so. <laughs> no, that, that, that was yeah. separate. It was separate. There, there was a question about. Um, whether there was sort of a swell at the edge of the property, yeah, would right. collect rainwater and uh, have it treated on site, right? And yeah, I think he said it would not drain to the brook, but I'm not 100 percent positive. It'd be good to know that. Though. Maybe the I, I think though that we had asked them to provide this information when they come back, so um, he may have provided details during the meeting, but. I know that we asked them to do that for the revised materials that actually were already posted today, so you can, <laughs> can look at them. Um, mm -hmm. But that that might be the way to handle it because I I don't remember exactly what he said. Okay. He was vague, as what as what I recall. Is what I recall as well. It was okay. not specific. He said that he would confirm. Um, All right, let's leave it like that then. Okay. Okay. All right. I know there's there's another one here that's like. He provided details, but the details are not in the minutes. Right. So. Any other uh, additions or corrections? All right. Is there a motion to approve the meeting minutes from March 28th, 2022 as amended? So motion. Second. All right. We'll take a vote. Ken? Yes. Jean? Yes. Steve? Yes. Melissa? Yes. And I'm a yes as well. So the meeting minutes have been approved as amended. All right. Uh, so are there any other housekeeping items? Jenny, I think we've covered most of everything. Um, we didn't have a public forum on the agenda tonight due to uh, timing. Um, and we are now at the point that we need to see if there is a motion to adjourn to town meeting. So motion. Is there a second? Second. Right, we'll That's my name. We'll take a vote. Ken? Yes. Dean? Yes. Melissa? Yes. Steve? Yes. And I'm a yes as well. Thank you very much. And I will see some of you in a few minutes. Have a good evening. Mm -hmm. Bye-bye. Hi. Hi, everyone.